Okay, we're back with the jelly monster. Oh, oh god! Oh, okay. It's chaos from the first Sonic Adventure. Jesus Christ, he's annoying. So earlier, like it looked like it was something trying to like, like squeeze out a thing, like uh, that. Yeah, like it like pulls his like I can't get this out, man. It's a shield mode. Oh, There's a, a trick mode. to fighting it, but I don't remember. And I'm trying to be really cautious because I, I I'm on my last life, and I don't want to do this whole stage over again. If I do. I'll just cut it out. Yeah. Just so you guys don't have to watch me go through the whole thingy again. Also, I just realized how like silly my ghost story sounded. Really? In the last episode. You think so? Well, I mean, like it's like I got weird Damn vibes, it! so I was scared. All I got right. Weird vibes again. I'll see you guys back here. Okay. All right, we're back. We're going to Green Ooze Room. And look how much faster I go through. I'm kind of speed Woo! running through this now. Wow, I wish I could have done that the first time. Alright, oh jeez! Oh shit! There we go. Boom, boom, boom! Pow, pow! I like the bright colors in this game. Yeah, isn't it nice? I like it. I'm like a two year old. If it's brightly colored, I love it. It's funny because you do play a lot of dark games. I mean, Skyrim's so realistic and, like, you know, yeah, I would gritty. have preferred it if it had more, like, color. But... Mm -hmm. You know, that's one thing, is that, like, there's so many people that are, like, into the realism. No, I like things to be bright and colorful. It makes me happy. It makes like, me if I, like, if I, if I, if I want to see all the, the dark fears. and gritty, I'll just go outside. In the rain. I never, I never got the obsession with making games. No, I guess that's not true. The, I, I, it's cool to see technology come to as close as realism as possible while still being fictional, but I like fictional things to be fictional. I'm a bigger fan of, like, the, dis the, the the distinction where it's like shit 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 no <gasps> I what? was saved but now what you're stuck I, uh oh what I see I wish I wish the camera would let me turn around so would it be is it better to be saved but stuck or, like, totally doomed and have the freedom to, like, go all the way back. I would rather go with that option. I think I could have opened that thing up if I had a laser upgrade. I think I... Oh! There's a... There's speak, speak of the devil! <laughs> Bazooka! Bazooka! Now I can break iron containers. Bazooka. Bubblegum. Bazooka, zooka, bubblegum. Did you ever have that stuff when you were a kid? Nope, I just remember the commercials. Really? Yeah, was it good? It's disappointing. Really? It's fun because it's like a giant wad of gum in your mouth, which I loved when I was a kid because I was the type of kid that would like shove tons and tons of gum in my mouth. But the flavor was so crap. Like it was good for like two seconds. Okay. For me, I've just, I've never been a big fan of gum. Like, and it always surprised all my peers. Like, I had so many, like, in middle school, like, everybody chewed oh, gum. everybody wanted gum. And for me, I was just like, oh. like, hey, do you want some gum? And I'm just kind of like, yeah. I'm not a big like, fan. It was kind of like a currency in I middle don't, school. I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm it's, just, it's life. I'm just, look, are you, Rosie, are you seeing what I'm doing? <laughs> you weren't even looking at the screen. <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know! I'm I don't spin. know what I'm, I'm doing! Chaos and I'm God fucking chaos! Get out of this game! <laughs> is that your game? You were already in the first one. And I'm sorry that it wasn't as good as you thought it would be. Stop trying to take all the attention, chaos. Jeez. It's your own game. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. What the fuck am Gosh, I doing? I feel like. We're in, um... Okay, okay. What? We're in what? Star Command. What was that show? Toy Story? No, not Toy Story. Star the Command! Commit! Fuck! I didn't know it was gonna unlock! No, 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 Jesus! No, no. See, it's the, like, spin-off, like, sci-fi thing about Buzz Lightyear! The Buzz Lightyear TV The Buzz Lightyear show. of Star Command. Yeah, yeah. It, that entire stage, like the color schemes and everything, reminded me of it. Okay, uh, you I know, loved that show. I only saw a few episodes of it when I was a kid. It oh was, my gosh! It was hard for me to find the channel and the time that it was on. You know, it was one of those moments where 
I should have known I was not straight as a kid because I think I had a thing for the female character in that show and didn't <laughs> realize it. Because, <laughs> like, I loved her and I'm like... But it wasn't, like, the kind of thing where it's like, I like this character for character's sake. I think it was just because I thought she was hot. <laughs> but I was, like, a kid, so I didn't understand that concept at all. <laughs> ah. Oh, the things you realize when you're an adult, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was about to initiate the plan, but Eggman has taken Amy hostage. Oh, shit. So he's going to kill her if we don't, uh... Damn it, Amy, why do you have to be a damsel in distress, like always? Jeez. You know, her role varies from gaining... It, it seems pretty good. Like, her original role was damsel in distress. Then, in Sonic Adventure, she was her own playable character. She became useful. In this game, she's the damsel in distress. Now she's not useful. In Sonic Heroes, she leads her own team. And she became more useful. So... They split her pretty even. It seems like the creators of this game are torn between... Tradition and doing something actually a little bit more progressive. Tradition! 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 We're in outer oh space gosh. with Knuckles. Space! There actually might be two Sonic stages left. I'm not okay. sure. I Sonic. don't know. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he's on the run. Sonic, he's number one. Sonic, he's coming X, so watch out for Sonic X. That was the Sonic anime. I think I saw like a couple of episodes of that when I was a kid. That was the four kids version of the Sonic anime. Was that the one with like the weird PSAs? No, that was the very original Sonic cartoon. Oh, okay. No, there's been lots of Sonic. There's been lots of Sonic. That, that, that is the end of that statement. Because it is 100% true. Yeah. There has been a lot of Sonic. Everything. There has been. Well, so Sonic was first a game, though. Oh, of course, Pokemon. yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't play like Pokemon. Well, I mean, but yes, like the before the trading card game and the TV show, yes, it, it was, was a video game it was first. A video game. I was meaning, like, you know, the first thing. Right, I get it. Because, like, a lot of people. We'll say like, wasn't the first Pokemon thing the trading card game? Yeah, or, everyone or, says that. Or yeah, everyone. well, a lot of a lot of the you know older people I know. Adults, uh, yeah. Are like, oh, wasn't it originally a TV show? Like, no. No, it's actually a video Did game. Did I just get hit by a meteor? Jesus. Okay, between the twin. Wait, it's over here somewhere. Well, maybe I'll go up. Nope, I guess not. That was the bad choice. Man, I was so obsessed with Pokemon when I was a kid. When I was a kid, but not the game. You, you, the show. The for show. You. It was the TV show and everything. Like that was definitely a you know, highlight of my life as a child. It's closer. Oh, over here, between them, right? Between the lions. It's, well, no, it's between the the twin stars. Between stars. Did you ever watch Between the Lines? I was a little old at that point. Oh, uh, I liked it a lot when I was a kid, but that's just because like, we watched a lot of educational shows like that when my sister and I were kids. Because the way my parents went about television was like, we were allowed to watch anything we wanted age-appropriate wise as long as we could tell our parents what we were learning from it. Mm. And so this was the beginning of me learning how to bullshit my way through everything. Right. Because... <laughs> You, you I really wasn't anything. learning things. I was just m trying to find as an excuse, an excuse to watch whatever the fuck I wanted. Hey, that's that's good. I that I think you're learning something in yourself of that. The powers yeah. of, not powers of the skill of, of like persuasion. Con of persuasion of convincing, like of making a good argument. Yeah, but you know, making a good argument with evidence because they would watch the shows with us too. So we couldn't just like fully bullshit and lie our way out of it. Right. We would have to explain to them, yes, we're learning something constructive on this. This isn't mind-numbing I shit. tried to read the sign, and I punched it instead and fell. Don't you hate when that happens, Rosie? Oh, when you, yeah. When you're just trying to read a sign, and then instead of reading the sign, you punch! And then you fall off the cliff and die. Uh, you know, I, I'm more likely to sort it. With Ocarina of Time. Because I wanted to sort it, because reading signs is stupid. No, it's not. Please read signs, kids. Rosie's, I swear to Ro God, I, I know we've said, signs. I know that we've said this on the channel before at some point. But Rosie is awful 
at reading signs in real life. Oh my god, yes. Because you, you, you just don't. You I just, just don't care. You just do stuff, and I'm like, Rosie, you know that says that, right? And you're like, oh. See, I would be the Fuck. person that would get stuck in that freaking like, cauldron thing at the beach. Cauldron thing? Oh, yeah! I'm not saying names because you don't want me to... No, that's fine, but that's not where we <laughs> live. We were on vacation we when we did that. Okay, so yeah, no, we went to on vacation to like the Oregon coast, and, and we went this, to the Devil's Punch Bowl. Yeah, the Devil's Punch Bowl, and like the person, our friend, we were with, he's been to Newport a lot growing up, so he's been to the Punch Bowl a lot. And what it is <laughs> is it's this big like hole that like at low tide you could walk into. But at high tide, um, it fills up with water, and there's a, there's enough dry space there that you won't drown. But if you're down there exploring, and then you know you come back up, then uh, you're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck there for like six hours for the tide to go back out again. And we saw a family do exactly that. Yeah, which actually surprised. Like our friend mentioned multiple times that this is a common thing that happens because people don't read the signs about the tides on, on the tides at the trails in front of the punch bowl like it's really fucking hilarious they just go in and then they get stuck and then they're like what the fuck do we do do we wait do we panic do we try to swim out but you can't swim on the oregon coast it's not like california where the water's nice and swimmable the Oregon coast, you got fucking tides, you got cold, icy-ish waters that will give you hypothermia in like 10 minutes. My god, you know? look where I had all the way up here to find this last emerald. Wow. Can I seriously dig in this? No. Knuckles says I can, but I can't. But anyways, if you want to swim in the Oregon coast, you get a fucking like legit wetsuit. So you won't get hypothermia. Oh, uh, is the emerald seriously on this guy? So yeah, we saw like a couple and their kid get stuck in there and they were like totally clueless the entire time. They were just like derping around with the crabs and stuff. And they're like, oh cool, crabs, ha 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 ha. And they didn't realize they were stuck until like- Someone went, called out to them? Yeah. So like we were all just kind of watching. It's like, they gotta figure it out soon, right? They gotta figure it out soon, right? And there just had to be this one good person out of all of us that had to yell at them and tell them they were idiots. It's like, hey, <laughs> you know you're stuck down there. And then their kid was yelling, you need to get out or you'll die. God, that was so hilarious. <laughs> and the mom's just like, no, honey, they're not going to die. Don't yell that to them. Look, it's Rouge. Oh, hello, Bat Lady. It's time to fight her. She has my other emerald pieces. Oh. Oh. Anyways. So on the next episode, we'll fight Rouge the Bat. We'll fight the Bat Lady. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. I need to do re-rings! Oh, gosh, she's fast.